hello hi guys welcome back to my the youtube channel and today's video we are going to talk about how you can onboard a windows device into a microsoft defender for endpoints so let me start this video uh, so here is the content or uh, what are the content we are going to cover up in this video so we'll see the first or uh, what are the minimum requirement to enroll a device then we'll understand the architecture then we'll go for the difference between the feature difference i mean md security and uh, the microsoft endpoint manager so uh, this is like how you are enrolling your device by using the intune or directly mde onboarding tool options so what are the tools onboarding tools we have to enroll a device then uh, in this video i will be using the local script to enroll a device then we'll validate the diagnostic data settings then we'll go for the download the enrollment package from this our microsoft 365 defender then we'll enroll the device and then we'll validate the service and registry key and then finally we'll validate the device is enrolled into a microsoft 365 defender console or not and just few commands this is mostly used to to check the few things on the defender and device sites i mean the on the end user sites so let's let's just quickly have a look for the minimum requirement for md enrollment so here is a licensing requirement so as i explained in my the last videos uh, about the licensing so we can go for the plan one or the plan two so you should have the e3 or e5 license so if you have not watched that video you can go back and watch that video to understand the licensing concept so here is the supporting operating system and the browser requirements so uh, the browser uh, you can run your the microsoft intune uh, or the defender so uh, on microsoft ace and the google chrome and what are the operating system type your defender can support so it can support your windows android ios linux and mac os so we'll talk more about on these topics in the coming video but this video is dedicatedly for the windows platform so here is a supported windows version so as as i told uh, this video is dedicatedly for to enroll a windows device so just let's see the uh, what are the windows version it can support now here is the architecture so let us understand it quickly how this architecture work so first you are the defender uh, microsoft defender for endpoint services first it will enroll a device to mde then it will go like you are the device onboarded device and next it will go to the second option here the azure ad trust is stablest or not then it will check the azure ad groups over here and then it will report to the MEM then it will uh, send the details to MEM and then it will gather the uh, the policy creation or if you, if you want to deploy any of the customized policy uh, from this MEM and then again it will uh, replicate to your the device now here is a like a difference between MD security and the Microsoft endpoint manager so this is why I mentioned this part because uh, when we enroll when we use intune to enroll a device into uh, defender that means it's your device enrolled via the uh, intune then what are the features we can use or if it is directly enrolled to the defender in that case what are the features we can use so here is a list uh, i taken from the microsoft site so when you use uh, uh, when you use the md security so you can get the antivirus the workload is antivirus policies antivirus antivirus exclusion so both you can get it but the windows security experience you won't get if you directly enrolled any device to defender not via the intune so the description uh, this encryption you can't do it uh, because the device is directly enrolled to the defender and there is a no in involvement for your microsoft endpoint manager that means it's mem so these are the features uh, which uh, which we can get if we used uh, via the intune or via the md security configuration so now here is the onboarding tools option what are the 
onboarding tools option is available so in the windows we can use the local script core policy uh, endpoint manager the mobile device manager the uh, mecm vdi script and the integration with the defender for cloud for the mac devices you can use the local script mem champ pro mobile device and linux local script puppet the ansible ios we can use only the mem and for the mo uh, the android also you can use mem so here is something uh, i did the simplification to understand it easily so if you have the architecture what type of architecture if you have the cloud cloud native so you can use the microsoft intune that means it's if your device is already enrolled into the uh, uh, the cloud native if your device is uh, only in into the cloud then you can go with the intune if your device is under the co-managed then you can use the method the configuration manager if your device is on prem it's not in the intune it's not in the cloud then you have to go with the core policy if uh, the other way is the script and the evolution then you can use the local script so let us understand about the windows onboarding options what we have here so if you have like a windows 10 11 windows 365 windows servers or the windows server r2 and all these so you can use the local script guru policy so these are the v's you can use to enroll your device if you have the windows server then you have to use M mma microsoft monitoring agent and a defender for clouds so if you have still running in your infra like windows 7 and the 8.1 then you can go for the microsoft monitoring as uh, the agent to enroll your device but in this video we are going to use the local script to enroll a windows 11 device into defender so here is a diagnostic data setting so before going to enroll any device you need to check this uh, your uh, use this command sc uh, sc space qc uh, uh, diaz track and this should be under the auto start the starter type if it is not on the auto start you can use this command i'm sorry you can use this command msc config so it will make it the auto start for your service and then you can start your the enrollment so now uh, let's see the practical lab and uh, here is a after the practical lab we have some service and the registry validation and the device here and the powershell okay so let me move it to the my test uh, test machine and we will do the testing so this is what the my device which i'm going to enroll into defender and uh, let's see the something difference between uh, already enrolled device and not enrolled device so this device uh, in tune one has not enrolled yet and i have a one more device here uh, device two so i was checking something over here so this device is already enrolled into my the defender so what are the differences we can see when the device is enrolled so the majorly difference is about the registry key let me show you once you enroll the device your uh, windows advanced threat protection registry key will create it and this is a new uh, new registry key will be creating here when you enrolled your device and here is a uh, onboard status is showing one that means is this device is already onboarded to the defender let's see the registry key for uh, our uh, which device is not enrolled how it looks like so this is the registry key we don't have anything yet here because this device has not enrolled into defender so this is like the major difference and the another thing is you can check with the powershell uh, this is the powershell i write it to check the some few of the services whether these are running or not so uh, let me quickly open the powershell here PowerShell P O W R S G O L L. Why this keyboard is not working? Okay, let me open this and validate the service whether it's working here or not. 
okay okay so if we see the services status for this mp engine so it's running and uh, nis srb services running uh, ms science and uh, science ce is not running so uh, why this service is showing running because your the local defender services uh, is working on this machine but this device has not enrolled into your uh, defender for uh, endpoints so if we see the re registry we don't have anything over here uh, that is indicate like uh, this device has not enrolled yet and the other thing what we can do we can go to the cmd and just type the host name so this is the host name k and let's validate in our the defender console whether we have uh, you need to go to the device inventory and we can validate here okay so you can validate your device uh, from this here uh, under the device inventory and can see whether your device is already enrolled or not so now let's download uh, the package local script and uh, we'll do the practical how we can enroll this device so let me go here under the setting uh, endpoints and under the endpoints we have option here called onboarding so here is your the operating system which operating system you want to use so i'm going to use windows 10 or 11 and uh, here is the what the way we are going to use like a local script so select the local script and here is like option to download the script package so let's download this and uh, where i am let me go to the download folder okay so it was already i was downloaded it for the testing and let me just copy this file to my the test machine here on my the my the test one in tune one so let me go here and copy now let me extract this file extract all Okay, so this file is extracted and uh, you can see in here uh, this is a one in here the CMD file so now how we can run this uh, you have to open your command prompt command prompt with the admin rights so run as a admin I can click here and now let's go to this path And now let us uh, take it this um, this file here and just put the enter and now here it is a pop-up like do you want to confirm to continue this yes I want to confirm and now your device onboarding is started so it will take just some time and once it done then we'll do the validation for our the registry services and the other stuff so let's wait for some time so now here is a message successfully onboarded machine to the defender for endpoints so now our script is done and this device is onboarded to our microsoft defender for endpoints so let's do the validation now and uh, here what we can do the registry value let's do the refresh okay so here it is hey, come on sit So now you can see in this registry value change here and the status you can see in the onboarding onboarding status is one so that means is this device is onboarded to our the defender and these are the extra registry value are created uh, let's see the the uh, services now let me run this again so these all the four services are running here that means is your the devices enrolled into your microsoft defender for endpoints let's go and validate in the console so i am in the in my the defender 365 console let me go to the the device inventory 
and here we can find out the device name here if it is onboarded okay so now you can see it here this device has enrolled this device was already enrolled and this device we have enrolled today on the 17th early morning 1 a.m so this device has enrolled uh, here in the defender console and if you want to see the one more option i want to see so total devices too let me go to the configuration management so here if you see it's like md and mam so two devices uh, mem so the way we enroll the device we use in tune mem and we have not enrolled any device directly to the defender so you can see if any device is showing on the mte that means is the device is directly enrolled, enrolled to your defender not via the intune so if you enrolled any device via the intune and the device is available in intune then you enrolled it that will come under the mem category or if you use the uh, the mecm then it will goes to the config management and the unknown is here so i was showing you the people the slides over here like these are the features so if it is goes through the mde then you will get the very minimum features but if it is goes with the mem then you will get the full features here so guys uh, this is the way how we can enroll the device into a defender and uh, here is the some commands uh, you can use that like uh, uh, get mp computer status so you can get the more details about this so get mp computer status let me show you get hyphen mp Okay, so by using this uh, PowerShell command, you can get the, some a few details about the AMEM version, the product version, the running mode is a normal, or uh, the AM service enabled is true, the AV version is this, the anti uh, anti spyware enabled. So you can get the the lot of detail about uh, your the uh, this defender for endpoints. So you can see when the quick scan is happen so if you need any details about uh, your the defender status you can use this command get mp computer status so guys uh, that's all uh, for this video uh, see you soon in my next video just keep watching the video if you want to learn your the defender for endpoints so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel like the videos and see you soon in my next video